If you live in a major city, taking a train around town is nothing new. But how many times have you taken a train across country? Right now, flying is the most convenient option, even if it costs more. A couple hours on a plane beats an entire day on a train. But that's not the case in plenty of other countries where high-speed rail is widespread in both Asia and Europe. Now, after years of debate, California has started America's first large-scale high-speed rail project, which could kickstart another option for Americans to get from point A to point B in the decades to come. California broke ground on a massive high-speed rail project in Fresno in January. It's the start of what will be an 800-mile route that connects San Francisco to Los Angeles in a three-hour trip. Right now, an Amtrak takes around six hours and costs about 60 bucks. The potential prices haven't been announced, but if you just double the cost for double the speed, that's still around 50 bucks less than a discount airline ticket on short notice. China has high-speed rail, and there, domestic airlines have basically stopped offering flights under 300 miles because more people prefer to take the train. And if you want to get from London to Paris, it's actually cheaper to take the high-speed Eurostar most of the time. And it's only about an hour longer of a trip without the hassle of the airport. So why was California's high-speed rail process so slow? One word, money. The $68 billion price tag is likely low once inevitable cost overruns are factored in. That kind of deal would be hard on a federal level, where both sides argue constantly about a national debt of $18.6 trillion. But if investments are made like a similar project that's being considered in Texas, technology could make it easier to live in a world without a car. It could also force air carriers to consider dropping fares to deal with the new competition which would help us all no matter which way we chose to travel. High-speed rail is an expensive gamble that California hopes pays off, and we should all pay attention to how it comes together in the next 15 years, because it will likely impact whether or not the rest of us will be seeing the exciting and convenient technology in our lifetimes.